Hmm. Is that better? Maybe that's better. Let's start. Because I don't want to have to film this again. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Maya. And today we are doing my soul haul. Yay! This is my first time sitting down and just doing a sit down video. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I hope. Um, how should we do this? I think I'm gonna first go through the skincare stuff I bought slash makeup stuff and then just kind of see where this video takes me because I don't really have any plans. <laughs> I bought everything skincare related from Olive Young. Yes, yes I did, I did. First, I have the Dr. Jart Every Sunday Mild Cream. It is a SPF 43 PA++++. This has more of like a milky, creamy kind of texture to it. It is a one plus one, which I love. Everything is one plus one there, which means that it always has like an extra one in it, or there is like a buy one, get one free, or like a free gift attached to like any product you buy. The other sunscreen is by Mediheal. I know these boxes look so janky because <laughs> They were just stuffed in the suitcase on the way home. This is the Mediheal Tea Tree Soothing Sunscreen, SPF 50 PA++++. This one also has a bit more of like a creamy, milky kind of texture to it. Mm, I'm in my beauty YouTuber phase. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it doesn't feel oily or greasy at all. It does absorb into the skin pretty fast and it has a bit of like a scent to it, like a sunscreen scent. Personally, I like using water gel tape type based sunscreens on my face. I honestly don't remember the last time I bought a Western brand sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen, kids. Honestly, wear your sunscreen. I wear sunscreen pretty much like every day. For me, I need like multiple backups or else I don't feel prepared. <laughs> Next for skincare. There were a few things that I've been wanting to try for a little while, so I was finally able to buy it. The first one is, this is the Numbujin Super Glowing Essence Toner. It has exactly as you would think. I would say the texture is in between an essence and a toner. So it's not super, super watery, but it's also not super thick either. It also has like a slight, Kind of like florally scent to it which i really like i don't know if it's added or if that's just like the th thing itself i've been wanting to try nimbogene for quite a while so i got this and i got there this is the nimbogene serum the deep sleep mask number six so again as the name suggests i use this at night before bed it has a Kind of a, I would say this one was actually a thinner texture than I expected. I honestly kind of thought that maybe this would be like a thicker texture, but it is quite watery and light, but still very hydrating. Um, I haven't used this enough yet to say whether I would want to keep repurchasing it or not, but so far I do like it. This is something I didn't think I was going to buy and then I ended up buying because the Olive Young employee was like, you should buy this. I was like, okay. I was like, okay, sure. This is the La Roche Po... Pos... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> La Roche Posts. Posts. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the name. <laughs> it's this brand. I know that I can buy this around here too. <laughs> this is the. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is the Corrective Unclogging Care Anti Perfections, Anti Marks, Anti Recurrence Cream. And it also came with like a free toner attached to it. I haven't tried this yet. I will once I run out of my toners. This one says it's a dermo soothing hydrating lotion for sensitive to ultra sensitive skin. My skin gets quite sensitive in the winter, so that's when I plan on starting to use this one. Now that I'm kind of more into my 20s, I don't really have that much of a problem with acne anymore. Usually like around that time of month, I'll get it. 
or when the seasons are changing, I find that I do break out more. I used to have really bad acne. If you know of Accutane, it is considered the acne medication, like the strongest, most hardcore one. I have been on that three times before. It was genuinely the only thing that worked for me at the time. Obviously since then, I do have a lot of like acne scarring still left over from like more of like my teenage years. I haven't really tried this yet, but I will try it out and see how it goes. Next. <sighs> my laundry is done. Okay, one second, let me just turn it off. This next one, if you know, you know, it was in like a ton of K-dramas and stuff, and it was quite viral. This is the, this is the Kahi Wrinkle Bounce Multi Balm. It comes in a little stick like this, and you just put this like on your face. I wanted to try this for a little while because, again, being in an airplane all the time, it's so dry. But I don't want to be touching my face and putting cream like directly on my face just because like, yeah, you can wash your hands, but it still just feels kind of dirty. And so with this, what I really like to do in the plane is just put it just underneath my eyes. It does kind of have like a similar texture to, I would say, Vaseline. Like it is an oil and I typically don't use oils on my face. And so I do use this in the plane, but I don't use this outside of that because I do find it for me I just think it's a little too heavy um, but I keep this in my jacket pocket for when I'm at work and I do really like it so far lastly for skincare stuff we bought a ton of sheet masks I feel like I probably bought some more but I just can't remember which ones were my brothers and which ones were mine so I'll show you these ones um, this is just the Mediheal the collagen essence mask this one I'm pretty sure came with the Numbujin stuff I bought as like a free gift. It's just a sheet mask. Dewy Glow Spa, again, another like moisturizing one. And then this one as well, the worker at the Olive Young recommended to me. This is the SOS Icy Soothing. This is also Numbujin, I didn't know that. <laughs> this comes in a pack of five. Yes, and apparently this one is good for like a cooling, soothing type of sheet mask, so it's cold out now. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be using this right away, but that's it for skincare stuff, I think. I hope. This one has an entire story behind it. If you watched my vlogs, you would know uh, that I am very, very silly. This is the Laneige, Laneige, Laneige? Neo Foundation Matte, SPF 16, PA++. This is in the color 23N Sand. It just comes like this. This is the foundation. I was looking for the cushion foundation for so long. Um, it was sold out in so many places, but when I saw the box one day, I was like, oh, perfect. Picked it up, bought it, didn't even look at the shade range, didn't even look at the product. Opened it up the next day and it was this one instead of the cushion. <laughs> um, I do quite like this though, I will say. Um, I don't really like the packaging because I feel like this lid is just so big and kind of unnecessary. I probably won't be carrying this around with me like for traveling, but definitely will continue using it. I do like, I do like it quite a bit. And then I also bought this Colorgram. This is the Warm Tone All-in-One Egg Yosau Maker. It just looks like this. It has a dual, it's like a dual pen. So this side has the highlighting. I guess I can show you. Kind of has like a peachy tone. And then this side is more of the contouring. Honestly, I don't really use the contouring side that much. It just looks like this. I haven't used this today though, but I typically use this. It's very handy. Personally, I think it's simpler than using like eyeshadow or a highlighter for the under eye part. So yeah. Oh, and then last thing I almost forgot is this, uh, I honestly don't actually know what this is. A Shrek pack? 
He spent, I guess, a certain amount of money at Olive Young, and so this came for free. It looks like... Oh, I think it's a clay mask. Woo! Smells very minty, but also something else. I'm not quite sure. I guess I'll try this out at some point as well. I guess we'll go into like a couple random things that I bought and then go into like the BTS stuff at the end. If you've been to Latte World, you might recognize this right away. <laughs> I got these from Latte World. Um, they are not the ones that BTS wore in that Run BTS episode. Honestly, I just couldn't be bothered looking for the exact froggy type because I just didn't see them anywhere. So this is the bigger, more green version <laughs> of the froggy headband. I think I got this for like four or five dollars, like it was not expensive at all. I got a couple of things from Daiso. These are the BTS uh, face masks. They were a thousand won each, so a dollar. I just got them in purple. They are, they just look like this. And then I also got, this came in a pack of two, but I think I'm gonna give the other one to my friend. It's a little ID holder uh, keychain. I just thought it was so cute because it says better with you on the bottom. And so it's a perfect fit for any of like the ID photos. This one's from Seasons Greetings 2022. Yeah. Um, I'm also paranoid, so I put tape on the back of it. <laughs> you know, just in case so he doesn't fall out. And then lastly, I guess kind of a miscellaneous item is I got these stickers from one of the cafes we went to. My brother took half of the stickers and then I took the other half. It's a little doggy. Also the bear. I swear this kind of fluffy white dog is like the mascot of Korea. Like everybody owns these dogs. <laughs> and then this one, we just thought, <laughs> this one we can't, <laughs> This one we kept laughing about because <laughs> it just feels weird that the bear's not wearing clothes. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe we're just so used to seeing animal characters wearing clothes that it just seems a little weird that he's not. <laughs> I got these from Cafe Tidum. I think that's how you pronounce it. They have an entire store inside the cafe. I went there on my first day, so it'll be like one of my first few vlogs if you wanted to check that out. And I will say, I think for clothes, I'm gonna do a combined haul of the clothes that I bought in Japan slash Korea. Maybe do like a try on type haul. So yeah, I won't be showing clothes in this one. Okay, let's get into the BTS stuff. So of course I went to the line store. This one might be my favorite purchase that I bought while I was there. <laughs> it's a little chimmy. Oh, he's so cute. He's just so cute and fluffy and he will be going with me now for all of my travels from now on because look at how cute and little it is. <laughs> I hope this video is out by the time I give these because these are for friends. Two of my friends are JK Biased and one of them is Tay Biased and so of course they are the plush key rings. They have a little keychain on the side and Look at his little body, it's so tiny. <laughs> and then this is the Tata version. The last BT21 thing I bought is my new son. <laughs> I got the RJ, what is this? The mini, mini? I don't remember what this one's called. It's the face cushion. RJ is my son, Chimmy is my little baby. I would like to collect more BT21 things in the future, but I think for now, I gotta stick to two. I don't even consider myself really a BT21 collector per se. Like, I don't really have that big of a collection, but yeah, I really love RJ and Chimmy. Okay, lastly, the most expensive thing I bought on this trip by far. 
<laughs> this is the Memories 2018 DVD, and this is the uh, Love Yourself uh, New York DVD. These were expensive. I will be straight up. These were 250,000 won each. I bought them in Myeongdong Underground Shopping Center at a K-pop store. I don't remember the name of the actual store I went to though. If you're ever in the area, there is quite a few K-pop stores and so you are bound to find this one. It's quite small, but they have a ton of BTS like DVDs and things that aren't like readily sold anymore on Weverse and stuff. This is also on my blog, so if you wanted to see that, it's in there. I guess I can show you who I pulled. <laughs> They're just sitting on my... I change out who I display pretty often, but right now, this is for the Memories DVD. I pulled Hobie. He's so cute. And then for the New York one, I was shook to my core because I've been wanting this photo card, but I never thought I would have it. Ah! This little baby JK. And I put um, the permission to dance like confetti behind this one. This one I change out pretty often, but I think for the next little while, I'm gonna have him in it. So yeah. I am, this is money well spent in my opinion. <laughs> this is money very well spent. So I do not regret it at all, even though the credit card hurt a little. Honestly, I think it's way less expensive though to buy it over there than it is to be buying those like resale prices online, which is why I held off for quite a while and I didn't buy these. I think my next dream purchase is to buy 2017 memories in its entirety. I don't even care what photo card it is. I just want like that whole like DVD photo card and everything included. But we know how difficult it is to find that one. <laughs> Not at like an astronomical price. I think that's it for today's video. I'm like looking around my room to see if I'm forgetting anything. I think that's pretty much it. I hope. <laughs> I hope I don't have to like add things in later. This is the Euphoria Room Spray. It comes in a glass bottle. I don't really like using gendered language, but honestly, the best way I can describe it is that it has a very masculine scent, um, similar to like cologne. And personally, I like more fresh, clean scents that smell kind of like laundry or flowers. So I wouldn't really say this is my favorite smell, but I just had to buy it because it says euphoria on it. Okay, now cut back to the video. Yes. And I think that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, um, press like, <laughs> um, subscribe, comment, everything. It just feels weird to like self promo, but I do appreciate it. If you have any more like questions on where I got stuff or like how much it costs, please feel free to ask below. And I think that's it. I will see you in the next one real soon. Okay, bye. <laughs> Boop. <laughs>